How you doing, Vapors? It's Grandpa Vapor back today to do another informative video for you, for you people that have never used a squawker. And the only reason I'm going to show you this video is because of, simply because of the fact of this thing right here. It's called the Watofo Profile Mesh RDA Tank. Okay? Now I'm going to show you that tank sitting on top of a squawk mod. Okay, we we'll turn it around. That is the profile RDA mesh tank sitting on the top of this squonker. This squonker is a Bandy Vape BF by Tony B Project. Okay, now I'm going to show you people today how to fill this thing up. Okay, and change the battery. And the reason is a lot of people don't know how to mess with these things. So I'm going to show you how to mess with this thing. Now, this is the bottle. You can buy this BF Squawker online for about anywhere from $14 to $28, depending on what it, if it's on sale. I bought this on 8bait.com. I don't work for 8bait.com. I just like their product or service and their delivery, fast delivery. I bought this on sale for $14. Bucks. It's an unregulated Squawker. You need to know about your batteries and ohms, people, when you put one of these mesh coils on top of this tank, this profile tank. You need to check it to make sure it's set right. This is unregulated. doesn't have any screens on it. just uses an 18650 battery. has a sleeve adapter for that. Or you can use a 2700 in here with it, too, without the adapter. Okay? So, there's the bottle in here. These are called panels. These are the sides. There's the fire, there's the fire button here. There's the back panel. It's full. Okay. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to squonk it. You squonk it by pushing it like this two or three times. You make sure that's saturated. Uh, when I show you how to rebuild one of these tanks on a profile, then I'll show you that you need to saturate that after you get done with it. But it's already been saturated, so you squonk it a couple more times. That's fine. Two, three times, four times, you'll get four, five, seven vapes out of it. Squonk it again before you set it down. Push that thing, squonk it a couple times, set it down, pick it up a little bit later when you need another vape. Okay, so let's do one. Well, well, well. I blanked you out again with the vape from a little tiny squonk box. Tiny, little, very light, fits in your pocket, you can't even see it, squonk box. Okay? This squonk box is one of the lightest devices I've ever held on to. Okay, so who, what we do, when you want to change the squonk bottle, you take the panel off. There's little magnets inside that panel. It just pops back on there. See? Ah, do you see that? Okay, there's the squonk bottle of the battery. Okay, the mechanism is here. The tubing goes up to here to, on this. There's a tube that goes up to a pen. The pen goes up underneath the tank. It fills the tank where the cotton is, and then sucks it back down into the bottle. So you don't have to overflow the tank and get spitting. Okay, over here's the battery. There's a sleeve on the battery to accept this 18650 battery because it's a little bit too short. You understand that? Now, this thing is really tight to take apart. Now, when you do this, is what I do, is I'm very careful not to mess up the sleeve of the battery or the battery itself, but I go into it with a screwdriver to the side. Do you see this? And I work it out. Okay, it's very tight in there. Once you get it out to this portion, okay, you got it out of there. Okay, now there's the empty mob where the battery goes. The uh, negatives on top, positives on the bottom. Now, here's the sleeve. You see the sleeve? And there's a little metal thing because it's too short to fit inside that battery compartment. So you have to use this sleeve on an 8650 battery. You don't have to on a 2700. To do, it's like it's a latex. See this? And it's a metal thing there. You want to make sure you keep this in good shape, people. Make sure it's all designed right. It doesn't fall apart and anything like that. You're going to have to get another one if it does. So this battery, I'm going to go charge. I'm going to put another one in. This is an 8650, 3.7 volt, 2500 ma Sony. 
okay? You put on the positive side, not the negative side, the positive side, you slip the 86050 adapter back on the squonk, I mean the, uh, the battery, okay? Now, we're going to leave this out. It would go in negative side up into this squonker. But we're not going to put it in there now because it's difficult with that battery in there to get to this squonk bottle to refill it. We're going to refill it while we're in here. And this is where the mess occurs. What's going to happen is we have a top fill uh, squonker out there now from VLC, I think it is, that you don't have to go through this bottle change. You can just top fill it at the top. Now, I'm pulling it down, downwards. See how it came off of that pen there? And the little tube on the top? Okay, once you squeeze that, the juice is going to come start coming out of that tube while you go to change this. But there's the empty squat mod. Bottle on the left and uh, battery on the right. Okay, don't have to mess with your tank now because the coil on there and the cotton's still good. Okay, so this has a, a, a top to it and a little steel rim underneath it. I usually hold it by the little steel rim so I don't squish the bottle and unscrew it. Have yourself a napkin ready to lay it on. Okay, come out of there. It's going to have a little fluid in it. All right. It's going to have a little fluid in it. Lay it down on a napkin on the side of your desk. I know I'm going away from the cam, but hey, I always have a napkin and baby wipes when I mess with a vape device. Okay, as you can see, it's half. It's it's not it's not full. Okay, so what today we're going to put into it? One of the best lemon flavors out there: lemon twist, pink lemonade. Pink lemonade, I'm telling you people, this is one of the best lemon vapes there is. If there was any other lemon vape that was better, it's Mr. Meringue from Charlie's Chalk Dust. Okay, but today we're going to use lemon twist. All right. We'll take the cap off. I love the way lemon twist and Mr. Meringue makes these things. You really don't need a chubby stick with these because they already come pretty much in 60 mil bottles. And you, you've got a nice little device. You can really fill yourself with these. You don't have to transfer it to a chubby device. Which is a, a smaller pen size type 30 mil thing they sell you on uh, online for 50 cents to a dollar to carry with you. You can actually carry these with you. So, we're going to fill this up about, oh, about 90%. I don't like to go all the way to the top when I do these. So, we got it up to about 90%. We filled it up, and now we're going to put the top back on it. What I do is I hold this stainless steel ring, okay, put the toes back in it, line it up. Try not to squeeze the bottle when it's full because it makes a mess. Get the cap on there. Kind of, you got to line up the threads correctly. And make sure it's all the way down. Now, the first time you do this, people, everybody's going to let a little bit out. And I just let a little bit out right there. Just going to make sure it's tight. Take your napkin. Wipe off the excess around the tube. Saying you don't want that juice inside your, your squat device. But it's inevitable that's what's going to happen. That's why they came out with the top fill squonker. That way you don't have to mess with these bottles anymore. You'll be able to fill it from the top. I'm sure that all of them are going to go that way shortly. Even the smaller devices like this one will probably go to a top fill system. Now, see that pen sitting down there at the bottom here where my index finger is right next to my index finger? You want to take it and put it on it first. I had to look at it to the side, but I'm pushing it up in there. It goes right up into it, and you push it in and let it sit there. You're done. If you see any excess juice in here that you messed up and, and came out, you want to take a look at it. There's nothing there. Okay, we're going to reinstall the battery. We're going to reinstall the battery, and we start with the negative side first. Okay, and then you push up because that's where the contact is up there. It's down a little bit on a, you know, it's spring down. So put it in there. 
make sure it's in there right check it all out one more time take your cover easiest thing in the world people put it on make sure the magnets are all good to go squonk the device a couple times as I said the, the, the RDA the profile RDA is good mesh good cotton in there right now to change that I'm gonna do another video on how to do that with this profile to show you how amazingly easy it is to be an RDA user and I never wanted to be an RDA user I thought it was a mess I didn't want to twist coils and do all these builds and all that but you can build this tank in less than five minutes I guarantee you. and I'm gonna put it on a clock when I do it fire button squonk front you did it a couple times you can do it a couple more times because it sucks it back down in there the back cover where the batteries is we're going to do it on the baby oh can you believe what this little 14 dollar squonk box did for me does for me do you see this this thing is 14 bucks this is 29 dollars for the profile rda the strip coils for it and the cotton are three dollars and seventy-five cents for ten of each. You could use this for months. I mean, you could use this for way cheaper than any other prefab coil mod devices, uh, hands down. All you have to do is buy juice for it and just replace the coil. Now, I've had this strip in here for almost a week and a half now. Okay. Now they have with Tofo strips and they have they also have OFRF strips i've got the ofrf strips they seem to be a little bit better than the, the watovo ones but the watovo ones are awesome let's take another one the flavor off of this profile tank in this squonker is the best i've ever tasted bar none okay so let's look at what we did i showed you the vanity vape pulse bf by Tony B Project Squonker. And you go ahead and you buy this profile tank to go with it. Your e juice, you're good to go. When you get this profile tank, and we're going to do another video on it, how to build it, buy extra cotton and the 10 piece and buy another 10 piece mesh coil. This only comes with one mesh coil, two mesh coils, and one piece of cotton, or two pieces of cotton. So you're going to run out quickly. So, but they're only three dollars and fifty cents. Okay. So on my way out, people, I just didn't think that a lot of people that did electronic mods such as the Smock species with the Baby V2 tank on it wanted to get into any kind of uh, uh, squonking devices, and I never did. Or they were in Segali products, things like that. They didn't want to get into it. Although these are good now because of the tanks you can put on them from fire. Uh, Freemax, Freemax mesh and, and, and Fire Luke mesh and, and the, the Baby A2 from Slot, which I think beats them all with a triple uh, mesh coil in them. They didn't want to get into squonking, but this little amazing device is the best flavor I've ever tasted. Okay, so one more time. Oh, lemon, lemon, lemon. 50 times better than any of these A2 Spire Luke Mesh, anything. 50 times better, I'm telling you people. All right, that's the video today. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a like, people. And I'm going to keep on doing these videos so you guys pick up on it. And you remember this, Grandpa Vapor. Grandpa Vapor always tells you the truth. Have a good day.